Well, hello. It is 31 Days of Halloween. It's finally here. Let's get started with our October 1 tutorial. You are going to need some black water activated face paint and your favorite liquid tip eyeliner for this one. I'm starting this tutorial with only foundation on. I haven't highlighted and I haven't contoured because we're going to let the black paint do that for us. Starting with a medium tip brush, I'm going to go ahead and outline the entire perimeter of my face to give myself that cartoon look to stand away from my hair. Don't forget to fill any blank space between your hair. Fill it up with black paint to make it blend just seamlessly. You don't want to see any skin right there. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and outline my ears to give them that two-dimensional effect. So I'm basically just outlining all the folds of the ear just to give it some definition in a 2D form. Moving on to the face, we're going to go ahead and outline some of our natural features like our chin, our lips, our eyebrows, even some wrinkles. So let me give you the lowdown. If you're having a hard time finding your features on your face, you're not what sure ones to outline, look up an image. Look up a drawing, look up a previous face painter's images. These will help you know which ones to define. It's like a drawing, but it's also a cross between like almost a comic figure because they are, they're 2D drawings. Around your eye where you have creases, use the felt tip eyeliner or even use a liquid eyeliner. That'll keep those creased areas from smearing like the water activated paint would. Okay, this is where we're going to give our 2D character some fake 3D effects. I'm going to use this black line, including some shading, to contour my face. This is where you're really going to sell your 2D character trying to be a 3D character like a comic. Outlining your lips, the most satisfying but trickiest part of the entire tutorial. Take your time, go slowly. It may look like I'm moving fast, but seriously guys, this is very fast forwarded clip. This process took me 20-30 minutes. So take your time, black paint is water activated so it's easy to remove, but it is a pain if you have to remove it. Take your time, follow your natural lip shadow, you can even overline for a bigger effect. Here's where we go from lip line to 2D drawing. We'll go ahead and fill in where your natural creases in your lips would be. Give yourself a little bit of volume by giving yourself some creases that mimic folds in the lip where you would see plumpness. To make 
our face stand out from the rest of our body in the black screen, we're going to add some shading underneath the neck. Right up against the very line that you drew for the perimeter of your face, you're going to add some thick lines and in between those some very thin lines. This will make your face pop, but it'll also create that 2D sketched shadow feeling that we're going for just like we did in our contour. Here's the point where we're going to go back and clean up any lines that we see fit to make things look more symmetrical. Remember, things don't have to be exactly perfect because this is a tutorial for a drawing or a sketch. They're not perfect. Go ahead and add your mascara, fix your liner, and add some lashes for a little bit of voom. At this point, I'm going to take my curly hair down and I'm going to really give it some volume. I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to tease it and I'm going to take the ends of my hair and pull the curls back. Give it tons of volume. Give the character some serious character. One simple line to add to take your character from super happy to super annoyed or concerned is to add one little curled line between your eyebrows. So there you have it. Day one of Halloween is complete. Don't forget to subscribe. There'll be a new video every day of October. I love you guys. Bye.